Okay, everyone, so today's topic is we're going to learn all about permanent waving and how perms work. So, um, it's kind of funny because one of my clients watches my videos and I was like, oh, it's so adorable. So again, uh, perms. So, um, what a perm is, it's something that is going to break down or restructure the hair. So think about your arm, okay? Think about, it's kind of an extreme way to say it, but think about breaking all the bones in your arm and restructure them. That's kind of how a perm works, or if you broke a bone at all um, and got it set and it naturally healed, that's sort of how a perm works. And it works by um, using something, uh, breaking disulfide bonds. So first thing we know about what perms are and how they work and all that stuff is we need to know what hair looks like under a microscope. So I drew a little diagram right here. So what we know about straight hair, right here, is if we were to um, take, you know, pluck one of your hairs out and under a microscope, we're noticing it's, it's going to look cylindrical like this, and it's going to be round when you look at it as like a bird's eye view. Um, if we are working with curly hair, something like this, it's going to be a little bit more flat like curling ribbon or a fettuccine noodle, and um, look something like this when you look at it at the same way like this. So I hope that kind of makes sense. So this is why we get what we call reversion when we start perming the hair because your hair wants to stay up and down. After you've permed your hair, it slowly starts to revert back to its natural straight state because it wants the shape of the hair wants to stay straighter. Um, same thing with if you're going backwards, if you're going from curly to straight or doing something with a smoothing treatment or a relaxer or anything like that. Um, the same kind of thing happens is it because it wants to curl and curl when you go stretch that curl out it, The shape of it still wants to kick back up. So that's why we get what we call reversion So now that we know what hair looks like under a microscope like this curly or straight Obviously the flatter the hair the curlier the hair the more round the hair the straighter the hair This will go into a lot of other videos that I've got going on. So make sure you know this stuff um, now we need to talk about the perm itself. So, so the steps of doing a perm uh, go as follows. You're going to first clarify the hair, shampoo the hair, um, <clears throat> take your guests back to your chair. You're going to wrap it up in cylindrical things like perm rods that look like uh, pencils. You wrap up the hair. <clears throat> and then you're going to apply the waving lotion. The waving lotion is going to do um, one major thing. It's going to soften the hair and uh, break the disulfide bonds in the uh, hair. Um, and make it very soft and pliable. Um, then the final step is you're going to rinse that out and then follow up with a neutralizer, um, a neutralizer type of thing that's acidic and it's going to snap the hair back hard. So um, the active ingredient in most perms is something called ammonium thioglycolate. And so what it looks like, chemistry, yay. Um, so that's in your waving solution. So after you've wrapped up the hair, you're gonna apply your waving solution, which is essentially ammonium thioglycolate. Um, and your hair is going to go from this nice, straight, this is a spaghetti noodle, you know, nice, straight, um, hard thing. And it is going to turn into something like, just dip that off, something like this. A cooked spaghetti noodle. Limp, right? This is your hair after perm solution. Very, 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 very soft. So while it's wrapped up in our perm rod, okay, our perm tool, something like that, um, we're going to neutralize it. Okay, the neutralizer is going to snap it back hard and rearrange all these disulfide bonds very, very quickly. It happens in about five minutes, and it is going to leave us with a curly effect like this. This is a dry noodle over a chopstick. <laughs> so um, to get from this to this, we have to do that pre-step of softening it with our ammonium thioglycolate, and then neutralize it to get our perm um, snapped hard. Um, the cool thing about perms is you typically wrap them around something cylindrical like this to get a curl, but you could wrap them around a popsicle stick, you could wrap them around um, all sorts of different shapes. There's some that are oval to give you more of a wave. Um, there's a lot of things actually happening with perms lately. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool stuff. So again, um, to recap what I just said, perms are going to require ammonium thioglycolate to soften and swell the hair, and then a neutralizing action to reconfigure hair and rearrange the disulfide bonds into whatever shape you put it into the hair. Um, so I hope this helps. I think it's fascinating. And if you guys have any questions, please comment.